Good evening, everybody, and or good morning to those of you living across the pond in the US of A or Australia or wherever you're from. Just hello to all of you and welcome back to my Third Age campaign. And here we are as Gondor, currently attacking what looks like my general's twin brother. Um, <laughs> attacking uh, whatever this city, the little town's called, I can't see because the names are in the way. Amun Ithil, I forgot what the name was called. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so... Yes, so here we are attacking, and oh, let's stop that for a second. Here I am attacking Amun Ithil, and um, right now what, we, what, what I'm trying to do is basically unite this whole, I'm trying to expand our territory basically. I'm trying to push our borders up to about this line, as close as I can get to the coastline. Um, now we've noticed, or at least I noticed in the last episode, or last few episodes, that Kas Shafra, which is this little coastal town here, uh, well, I say little, it's apparently a large town. Only has a garrison of two men, two units. So, if I can get a small force from Pelagir built or from any other location that's nearby and send that down there, I could possibly take a large town behind the enemy's uh, current frontline borders, which is at Hasyab. Um, but if I can take that, then that should hopefully reduce the number of troops they can build. Some people have, or one or two people have said that their armies are coming from Umba. Now, where I, now I expect that's part, that's partly true. I wouldn't, I'd be a bit surprised if some of the forces we fought weren't from Umba. But I would expect most of the forces to be coming from places like Gobel, uh, Gobel and Salimon. And possibly even from Kas Shafra. I don't know, I mean, I can't really, I can't see what buildings it has, unfortunately. But I would imagine they're coming from sort of this area here because the armies were continuously coming up to these borders, to the coastline up here, too frequently to be coming from Umba. I mean, they would have to be constantly pumping out troops to be able to send armies that frequently. Um, so I imagine that most of their armies are coming from sort of this area, maybe even as far over as Amran, which we currently have under siege. Uh, this enemy army I won't be able to reach us by the time we attack it, so that's fine. I believe there's only one uh, unit, yeah, just a general. <coughs> Excuse me, just a general in there. And we've practically sacrificed Harandor. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to yes. do, really. Um, because I could... I, will not waste I guess I could attack you. this army when it's in Harandor, but... I don't, I don't think my army is going to be strong enough. Now, I think I've got, a, I've got plenty of men, but I don't think the unit types I have are going to be strong enough to take out that army. Um, I could possibly siege the city. Um, well, when they attack Harundor, we can have a look at the army um, and see what they've got there. Other than that, there's not really much else going on. I'll show you in diplomacy in case you've forgotten. We're only at war with Harad. We got peace with Mordor quite a while back now. And so far, the peace has managed to last, which is pretty exciting, pretty good news. Um, who do I not have? Al I'm not allies with the High Elves. Just noticed. Okay, that's fine. All the dwarves, actually, I just noticed as well. But yes, we have trade going with a load of other factions as well at the same time. Up here, Mordor are sort of trespassing and sending their troops through this uh, through this pathway here to get up into the Dead Marshes. We've got our spy over here keeping an eye on the Black Gate. Uh, if you didn't, re if you <coughs> excuse me, if you didn't know, I disabled the um, the what's it called the garrison script for some of the most for some of the important locations. Um, I'm th I can't remember if the garrison script applied to all provinces, all settlements, but it was definitely to some of the important ones. So like Minas Morgul, Blackgate was definitely one of them. I remember that from when I played the Sylvan Elves a long time ago. Um, but I've disabled that, so there's no, there's not going to be any garrison troops anywhere or anything like that. So if I decide to go to war with Mordor again, the Black Gate would definitely be one of the first targets, and so would Minas Morgul. I'll probably do like a two-prong attack on there. Uh, maybe send a small expeditionary force, if you like, to to um, Malgalad. There's a little village there, just to keep an eye on our backs. Um, maybe push a little bit further onto Kirithung Kirith Ungol after taking Minas Morgul as well. So, without further ado, that was a quick overview of what's been going on, what I'm planning on doing. Um, so here we are, first episode of this new bulk recording, and I will begin with the assault on Amon Ithel. So they have two bandits, uh, a javelin or skirmisher unit or huntsman unit, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them skirmishers. A bit of Rome too is pulling out a bit there. Um, and then they have a spearman and a peasant axeman. I have two archers, three infantry and a pelican marines. That's plenty. 
So that's basically one, two, th that's basically one melee troop for one of theirs, and my two archers can take care of their huntsmen, no problem. So, I think we've got this, we've got this battle. This will be ours. But the army that's attacking Hallandor is my main concern. There is an army heading over to Barathan on the left hand side of the province, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we can have a look at it after this battle because I'm instigating this battle. This isn't in the middle of a turn flip or anything. So I can have a look at that army a little bit later on. Made them group one. Made them group two. Marines auto fire. Made that mistake so many times in the past of not having them in uh, auto fire. Let's get my archers into auto fire as well, or fire at will, whatever. Let's begin the march. Don't really want to use fire ammunition. Does more damage, but far less accurate. And considering, it's, seeing as we're shooting over a distance, it's not going to be very beneficial. We didn't get very many kills there either, which I'm a little bit disappointed at. But hopefully, when they bunch back up a bit again here, get a few more. So from 97 to 84, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Axemen, bandits. <coughs> Excuse me. God. I think I might have a drink of water here. <coughs> there we go. Down to about 70, so that's fine. Let's put our men forward a little bit. Not used up that much ammunition actually, which is good. Perhaps I will pull my archers down here a bit. Might see if we can try and um, shoot some of the other units that they have. The tower's still trying to shoot my battering ram. Or trying to shoot, it is shooting. Um, Surprised that none of my actual none of my actual militia men have been killed yet. It's going to happen in a minute, but yeah, so far it hasn't happened. <laughs> okay, so now these peasant spearmen are in range. The peasant axemen sort of are. I'm not worried about them. Need to keep an eye on those huntsmen. Just javelin are, are Our like, men have the, the, gate with like the pain in the ass. Always annoying. There we go, archers firing. That sounded a lot better than the first volley on the other unit. From 98 down to 89. Well, that's nine men, I guess. 50%. Those huntsmen still haven't arrived yet. I say arrived, they haven't moved yet. I managed to mute my the microphone just in time. Forward. I had a massive sneeze. <laughs> wow. It's that time of year where things... Where we warm weather and... I don't have hay fever. I don't know why I sneeze, but hey. Unless I secretly do have hay fever and... Was just neglected to being told as a child. We've captured I'm afraid the you have hay fever. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, um, let's bring my archers in front up here a bit. I'm only bringing them forward because I'm expecting those militia or those huntsmen to start running around the corner at some point. So, if I bring my archers up, I might be able to get them in range. What's my range? archers range? Up to there. Damn. Um, if I pull them forward up to there. I'm going to have to do it individually, aren't I? Well, of course. Oh, whoops. Wrong unit. 
That's the one I want. Let's bring my general down here a bit. Oh, the Huntsman still haven't made a move. I need to get control of this gate. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Kill those bandits. Once again, guys, I'm in one of those sort of happy, cheery moods. Um, so, being English, some sort of posh voice might come through now and then, like it just did. That's why I'm bringing it up because it just came through. So, <laughs> yeah. Some of you have heard it before, some of you haven't, you know, this, that, the other. Why are the bandits beating my men? Come on. Let's just fire one volley over, see what happens. Oh, Pelican Marines are shooting their spearmen. Awesome. Body, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. He's taking out a few of them. Let's get those bandits in. Let's get those bandits. Come on. Yikes. I've lost 20%. I know I didn't say 20%, but I tend to round things up. So. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh, well, that's a general there. Kill him! <laughs> Kill him! He's on his own. He just killed one of our militiamen. Get revenge! Get your revenge! Get him! Oh, there we go. I've pretty much lost one militia unit. Oops, like this one, yes. I don't know why that's happened. So I've lost one militia unit. Shoot those bandits. Worse than the last volley. Oh well. Yep, so I've lost. I've lost one whole um, militia unit. surprised they managed to hold out that long and do that much damage. But then again, my militia units aren't upgraded or anything in any way. So, I guess that's to, ex to be expected. Let's get our militia inside now. Six percent for sixty-eight. Okay, man, that was actually a little. That was a bit tougher than I was expecting it to be. Um, let's pull one of our archer units into here. So I wonder if I can get them through the gap there. I don't know. Might be able to. Put this archer unit around here. I 
have my Pelagian Marines around this side as well, ready to rush on in to protect my men if I need to. Not they're in range. We'll start firing now. Okay, they have to go over the top. Oh well. <coughs> Shoot those huntsmen. Shoot them. Archers. Fire everything. Come on. <laughs> That's better. Charge. Get them before they throw the missiles. No, oh, you failed. Oh, I didn't move my men early enough either. He thinks. Oh. Move my general around here, he can throw his missiles at the last troops. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, so now that they're engaged there, let's bring our other unit in, because our unit is actually very tired, so. Oh. Wow, okay. Oh god, there goes like ten of our men. Excuse me. Right. Firing at will. Throw everything you've got, guys. Oh, lovely. Look at that. There goes like the whole back corner. <laughs> Out this way. Ha! <laughs> Slaughtered. Gonna keep getting my archers to shoot this bandit unit. Oh, sorry, the huntsman unit. <coughs> get my marine, my marines involved. I don't need to get them experienced. Get one more volley in there before my marines hit the hit their line. Standing still. What are you doing? Oops. God damn it, charge. You need to actually run to charge. What are you doing? Charge, come on. This is the most pathetic charge I have ever seen. That was absolutely pathetic. I did something a bit more substantial than that, but yeah, never mind. Can't expect everything, can you? The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Why are some of your arrows hitting my own men? Well, come on. Those banners aren't even close to the main group. Call yourselves archers. One guy left. Go on, General. Yeah, stabbed him in the back. 
Our men have taken control of the city. Da -da -da. One out of seven. Two out of seven. Seven. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Plus that guy. Come on, kill him! Kill him! There we go. This is a clear victory. God, I nearly lost. The th I pretty much lost a third of my army doing that. Well, okay. 237 for 574. Yikes. It was a little bit more than I was hoping. To be honest, I haven't really sent the biggest of armies to that town, though, so. Victory oh, a scouting name, force, but hey. So let's repair the wall. Let's build. Should I build. Uh, what do I build? <laughs> Um, build that first. Three units of Palaron at your capital. What's Palaron? Oh, boats. Ships ready. Thank you for the boats. They're not going to drain my money Ships at all, ready. are they? Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Ships you. Well, ready. I'm just going to. Ships ready. Uh, I'll keep. Mm. Ships ready. No, I won't keep any of you. Screw it. Ships ready. Thank you for the gift, but I don't want them. Yes, my lord. Okay. Yes, my lord. Let's head north. I don't know why Without I'm going to send you question. north. I just am. Stopping here. Uh can't Whoa. attack that yet, so yeah, pretty much we just there. Engage. That's all. And turn. Need to take a look at that army that's outside Barahan. I forgot to do that. Okay, so what does this army have? Four... Six spearmen. Seven spearmen, sorry. Two trollmen, two corsairs... One, one lancer, one raider, one serpent guard, one baluster. Oh, sorry, two lancers, one tribesman. That's quite a substantial force. Oh, hello. How did you come from? Well, Goblin Tolfalas is lost. Make a stand. We are <laughs> there it goes, pretty much. Okay. Don't want that. Alright then. Blockade the port of Umbar. Your court yeah, I've there's there's no way I can win that. No chance. Kalembel. Ooh, hello. Let's upgrade you then. Settlement besieged, settlement occupied. Well, at least they occupied it. So, what's this army doing here? Will not waste words on oh, God, if only this was Rome too, I'd be sabotaging that army right now. Yes, my lord. Yes. 
We shall continue tomorrow. Your all. Let's quickly take this one. To battle. We have triumphed. My lord, our courage and honor have conquered. Okay, so now I've got a castle. It's a wooden castle. I thought it was stone, but it's a wooden one. Uh, let's put... Yes, my lord. Yes. Watchtower this here. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. My lord. Approaching quietly. My lord. Right, what to do yes. with Brathel the Mean? I'm going to need more troops. For a start. Let's put him over here for the time being. No. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. As Let's you keep him in my territory for the moment. Your orders, my lord. Ships ready. Is it not obvious I am your Three fault? ships, damn. Okay. Ships ready. Let's bring these guys over yes, here. Full sails. Ships ready. Oh, neither of them want to be under command of the other. Aren't you two useful? Be gone. Hello, rebels. Let's go wipe you out quick. As you command. Let's quickly get rid of them because they're going to be a pain in my ass if I don't get rid of them now. Glory, honor, victory. Gondor infantry and yes. spearmen. Yay. Not that I have enough money for him. Boo! <laughs> um. I must be able to do something. Could yes. send this army to Hasyab. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste oh, words on not going to be in range for it. I will not waste words on you. Um, I need some new archers. Jeez. I need to retrain those archers. I can't leave that town yet, though. That's the problem. I'm trying to be more aggressive in this campaign. We stand vigil as the enemy Certainly proving to be difficult. Us. Well, if uh, that town's going to be under siege, then might as well put my spy northwards a bit. Oh, look, the army's moved out. I will not waste words on you. Yes, my lord. An order. Your order. I'll give my sworn knights nice to this army here. Assembling a mighty host. I will not waste words. I'll on keep you. myself just out of his range. No, we go no further today. Aha, that army's leaving. Right, can I retrain archers at Lynn here? I can. Orders, your will, my lord. My so lord. if I can get my archers yes. over there. Ships ready. A fine ships ready. Yes, sir. Full sail. Making 88 per turn. Yes, my lord. 493 per turn. Um, north. Yes. I don't know. I shall continue tomorrow. Two more turns there. Space for three. Your will, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. My lord. Orders. As you wish. 
Yep. Joining forces, Let's not have a full stack. <laughs> Probably one of the only f full stacks I'm going to have for a while in this campaign. Okay, so we're under attack here. Hashari, tribesmen, trollmen, serpent guard, lancers, lancers, jeez. Not holding back on the heavy troops. Much. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Right. One, two, three. Ah. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> he says. So, um, I will record that in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Third Age Total War Gondor Campaign. And I will see you in the next video.